New at five, a convicted murderer now accused of trying to put a hit out on the witnesses who helped prosecutors put him behind bars. 21 year old Jarmel Bingham faces new charges. Brett Lemoyne is live at Milwaukee County Jail with how this alleged plot was uncovered. This is the wild part. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, Ted. Prosecutors say Bingham allegedly wrote a friend a letter from jail asking him to smoke out some witnesses from Bingham's trial. When he mailed it, though, there was just one problem. It got delivered to the wrong address. When a resident living along North 64th Street in Milwaukee opened their mail late last month, there was a big surprise. From jail, prosecutors say 21-year-old Jermel Bingham wrote to an acquaintance, you gotta smoke my witnesses before my appeal to make sure I come home for sure. That letter was delivered to the wrong address. Our commitment again is to make sure that, that this process unfolds in the courthouse, that it doesn't unfold out on the streets. That's, that's not justice. Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm says witness intimidation is something his office takes very seriously. Making matters worse, investigators say Bingham was also charged with another homicide in February of 2017, but charges were dropped because a key witness refused to testify. That's the dynamic that we encounter all the time and we do everything in our power to uh, make our witnesses and our victims safe. Um, but at the end of the day, there's limits to what we can do as well. Three witnesses who testified at Bingham's trial were named. In a letter, Bingham allegedly wrote, make sure this info don't get to the DA. And detectives say they also uncovered a planned drug smuggling operation. Bingham was convicted of 12 felonies after a week-long jury trial in October. One of the convictions was for the murder of Terry Jones shot and killed near 45th and Clark last December during a month-long crime spree. State of Wisconsin versus Jarmel Bingham. Bingham, who prosecutors say wrote no trial if they dead in his misguided letter, now facing four new charges. His phone and email privileges are revoked. Bond is set at $10,000 cash. And police tonight really crediting that unintended recipient of the letter for coming forward with information about this case. It should also be noted Bingham only sent that letter a week after his conviction. Reporting live at the jail, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Cannot stress enough that that citizen did the right thing. Brett, thank you.